Building better communities is always the focus of the Kiwanis Clubs of the Bahamas. The joint installation ball was held this past weekend under the patronage of the newest lieutenant officer. And Jimenita Swain tells us tonight that it was an evening that heralded a changeover from the old administration to a new one. The newest lieutenant governor for Kiwanis Division 22, along with local Kiwanis Club presidents, were recently sworn in and made permanent. Leading the administration for 2015-2016 will be Lieutenant Governor Alfred Poitier, who said the work of Kiwanis is not only important to the Bahamas, but to the world. They are all ready to lead their respective clubs. They've all had their required training, but even more importantly, they have prepared a plan, their roadmap. They know exactly where they want to take their club over the next 12 months. Kiwanians of the Year received awards. The presidents were pinned by the lieutenant governor, and the new leaders reaffirmed their commitment to the organization. So let us remain steadfast and do all that is humanly possible to make the world a better place by being important in the life of each child. I joined the Kiwanis Club and saw a movement of strength, a movement of progress and of action, a movement destined to help our community grow in many ways. We also pledge to support our Lieutenant Governor, Alfred Poitier, by building better communities and improving lives one child at a time. The Lieutenant Governor gave an idea of what he hopes to accomplish. Penetrate the inner cities in terms of providing service to individuals who are in need. We want to increase the membership of Kiwanis, but we also uh, want to ensure that when we bring in new members, they are members of substance who are willing and eager to try and make a difference in our various communities. Lieutenant Governor Poitier also reminded anyone interested in joining Kiwanis that is an organization determined to give back. Jiminita Swain, Sedanus Network News.